Hello freaking to you YouTubes, in this video I'm gonna continue on writing these city songs, well not actually, you know we are gonna continue writing our book over here and we are gonna only stick to the English language language this time and we have a one, one hour timer over here and and we are gonna continue on using the Google Docs and the speech writing software. So if you don't know that, uh, if you don't know this, that Google Docs has th this built-in feature where you can use your microphone and if you have a high quality microphone like the Tula mic from the Tula Corporation or the company, you know, uh, then it works pretty good, you know, you can write a lot of stuff with this one and pretty fast even. And uh, the accuracy of the software is pretty good and, and I can say that, that if you have a proper microphone like this, uh, the uh, like speech recognition way of writing is really good also for your pronunciation. So if you have problems with like some languages, then uh, a good challenge would be to write a freaking book in that language. You know, what's harder than that? You know, changing the freaking world is easier than writing a book in a language that's not native to you. You know, you need a lot of practice for this stuff. But you know, uh, that's why we are here. That's why we are here. And if you want, if you want to like, like, start doing your own own practice and gain some ideas from that, these video, these videos, then it's fine. But then it's it's good. But you know, you know, this the purpose of these videos is only that I uh, learn better pronunciation in English. I use, try to use a lot of vocabulary. I'm not really like you know boxing myself into writing like science fiction or like a crime story or a war story or anything like that. I'm really like trying to be as free as possible. I'm probably some of this stuff would be working as a tweets, you know, if you want to write better tweets, you know, this is a really fine way to like a lot, lot like to write a lot of good tweets, you know. Because you come up with you come up with like the golden stuff if you if you have more like room to work work with you know so now we're gonna continue on let's 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 ask some more questions that are related to like self development so we have this question how do you socialize how do you start a conversation do you start a con We are gonna we're gonna write like this. We are gonna put this like uh, we're gonna press this tabulator key, and I don't freaking know what what this what this is called, you know. But I you know I don't know this like like I don't know this word for for this for this function, you know. It's the only word that like in the last hour I forgot. <laughs> That's pretty funny, but and you know how do you start a conversation? Do you start a conversation with a question? Do you start a conversation by telling something about yourself? You know, the funny thing about the Google Docs is actually that it uh, using the software makes you actually a lot better at socializing and a lot better conversationalist. You know, that's a word I, you, you, I, I like invented. Um, how do you socialize? Let's actually ask a question. Uh, would you like to become a better conversationalist? Is conversa conversationalist, conversationalist, conversation, conversationalist. You know that? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. You know, conversa conver conversational. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Would you like to become a better conversionalist? It's a hard word. You know, uh, how do you, do you start a, do you, do you start a conversation with a question? What kind of questions could you ask of somebody? 
Okay, so now we put even more like emphasis on over here. So we kind of like separate separate this like file like this, you know, this is just like, you know, this like basic stuff of language, language, you know, but, but you know, even though you might be really good at some kind of language, you might not be really good at using it, you know, in real life situation, you can always learn stuff, you know, that's what I'm... That's what I'm all about, you know, you get, you just make all the freaking mistakes, you know, nobody will ever like remember you like, like tomorrow or, you know, even yesterday, nobody will even remember you made that freaking mistake, you know, that's, that's the freaking truth of this world, you know, what kind of questions could you ask of somebody? Well, these are pretty interesting ones. How's your day? Like... Yeah, that's pretty boring. You know, like, um, what do you think about this? Then you insert something over here. Have you ever? What if? And then we're gonna ask some like harder questions of like what kind of questions could you ask somebody? We're gonna ask some like uh, hard questions about um, uh, like this. We could go back like here and, and ask the question, uh, do this question cross the line? Uh, like that. of social appropriateness um, do you know anyone who wouldn't mind this question Is this a too hard question to ask? Is this a question that is related to probing for intelligence of the intelligence of the other person? You know, kind of like that, you know, people are very sensi sensitive to this this type of stuff, you know, you have to think about your questions, they have to be like, kind of safe, but you know, you have to still play the line, you know. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, tell you something, something about if we wrote, uh, wrote uh, um, this type of book, you know, the book name could be like, The Art of Conversation. And and we could like take it over here, and we could like we could like right here, like like this one, like we, now. No, that doesn't work. You know, you could like like here, write this one, like book one. This is our first book. So how you would start this kind of book? You know, this is a challenge. I'm I'm creating for myself and for you these like ideas how you could like. First of all, develop yourself as a writer, but develop yourself as a like speaker of a foreign language also at the same time, and develop yourself as a conversationalist. This is one thing I want to tell you. This is a this is pretty deep stuff, you know. Um, yeah, when you can uh, make what you're practicing like deliberate, you know, there's that word, the deliberate practice or deliberate practice. But on top of that, if you can make it uh, also like related to a, a lot a lot of aspects of your, of your life you're gonna see some pretty impressive results you know i can tell you that so how would you start to write a book that ne that the names is the art of conversation what's the first line you would write in it well that's the, that's the question you can't ask probably of somebody who doesn't have any experience in writing but it's, it's too it's too hard the 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 question is too hard for somebody like that because he can't use his mind in that way but you could uh, ask it from a writer and the answer would be something like have you ever failed in a social situation 
that would be a really like a really a nice question you know because because you know it puts it puts you this it, it it like takes you out of the like like the situation like that's that's <laughs> that you're talking about at this at the time you know have you ever failed in a social situation you know ask ask that with the style from like from some style girl you know and you're feeling kind of like kind of like you know a bit like flustered so you just ask have you ever failed in a social situation <laughs> you know it's pretty funny you know it's pretty funny way you know pretty funny you know but have you ever failed in social situation do you understand why that is can you believe you can learn socializing better The art of conversation. And then you could throw something like this that a lot of people, a lot of individuals, a lot of people feel that take the safer route of not starting conversations because they feel that they are gonna cross boundaries and break rules and fail so they don't even try but that's kind of like downplaying you know you have to think about you know in in books it's kind of different but you start a, like youtube video like that it's not gonna fly you know and as I, as I freaking said, you know, people are really like like sensitive to stuff, you know, uh, even those freaking hard ass freaking talks, you know, uh, people are really like sensitive to words. And if you like us, people are so sensitive to words and how you like say things, you know, uh, you have to understand, you have to really like get this stuff like nailed right, you know. And you know you could say that you could say that it's really about your words, but it's also about your talking style, you know. And so we could di divide this like book into this like if if the, if this book was the like black feather black feather ghost war <laughs> book, then this book could be like divided like this, you know. Uh, if we had, I want you. I, I, I'm gonna give you this like challenge over here. Like, uh, develop book ideas and think about this question. Do I ha do I have enough to say to fill like 200 pages, <laughs> 200 pages with this stuff? You know, like the art of conversation. You know, it's um, like a pretty specific topic. You know. So it could be divided like this, social failures, uh, okay. It would be like starting conversations or something like that. And this, you know, this could be like, we could make it like, like, like this. Starting conversations. Like this. Ending conversations. Or something like that. I just want you to give this like, 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 think about it. What's the first page in a freaking book? You know, it's the freaking like you know the contents of the book you know that's what what that's what you know you read when you open a book you know the contents before that there's the acknowledgments you know i'm so thankful to this like girl who just like gave me this idea for this book you know the star you know the art of conversation you know it was the best freaking like book idea ever you know i adore the freaking girl you know you know, maybe maybe that's going a bit over the line if you start to like compliment all kinds of things about her. You know, in the first like, you know, you know that's 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 really uh, like like uh, like for example, we could like write over here like giving compliments, giving compliments.
you know, I'm I'm the type of guy that has been like late lately. I've been I've been really learning this stuff over here. I have been all uh, like I have really I, I used to be like really like like toning down with this stuff. But you know, I have learned the art of giving compliments in a way that is like really like you know, you have to learn to give compliments on the line and give compliments in a certain rhythm and you like the rhythm of compliments, the rhythm of compliments. You know, you could write a whole book about this. Let's like we can I want you I want to just like teach you this like way, you know, to like think about book ideas and this is the like question behind this exercise if we uh, like it's it, the question behind behind all of this stuff that we have over here is that uh, is that do i have enough understanding and things to say about this subject to write a whole book about it you know we are only at starting point over here, we can, like mapping out the territory. The rhythm of compliments, you know, it could be our book too. You understand. Uh, something that you might, for example, I'm gonna say this to you that, uh, like in the like public libraries, for example, uh, for example, in my like town, you know, you might find a book that is kind of like this, but you are not gonna find a book that is kind of like this, you know, because um, because in the libraries you have this upper level, you know, that it's it's kind of like not very accurate, you know, you're not you're not gonna find a book on a certain like kind of meditation in like Tibetan Buddhism about like dog gen meditation or something like that, you know, you won't find it like kind of book in the like library you might find this book that is like related to buddhism or maybe even even thai tibetan buddhism but you won't find that book that is like really specific you know probably because because like you know you understand you know specificity is like kind of like people want to be like generality is more like Generality is more like uh, user friendly, if you can say that. But when you ha have a certain kind of understanding about something, you have to go deeper. Uh, so, starting conversation and ending conversations. Um, like, for example, we could write, write, this is like the main structure behind it. You know, like, thanking for the other people's time. like 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 showing your appreciation it's it's kind of like you know these are not the things you know we are not like writing pickup lines over here even though even you know uh, i i have never done like i i'm not the pickup line kind of guy you know I can come up with a lot of like good stuff, you know, but it's so like the pickup like line thing, you know, I have noticed that it doesn't really work. You know, I have I have noticed that actually actually what works with people is really understanding the line where where the like like where the social appropriateness like starts and where it ends and you know about understanding the individual like differences in this way you know i feel that socializing is really about playing the line you know you could say that playing the line you might you might think you might say that this is this might be right i have no idea but this might be related to like the olden age you know about the the gentleman era you know the gentleman era was all about playing the line in all of things and and what i mean what what i mean by this is that um you could you could you could like map out this part of the chapter of the book like this like like social social appropriateness for example, uh, you could you could map it like map it like that, and you could like uh, like 
elaborate on this one a bit. So this is what I wanted to show you, the rhythm of compliments, you know. Um, you, could, you could ask, uh, you could put some questions over here also. Uh, like, for example, the rhythm of compliments, you could ask, uh, what's, what's too much compliments? You know, something like that, you know, um, I'm, I'm the type of guy that, you know, I'm, I, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like, you know, you, you, you know, with some people, it's kind of different. You can give compliments to some people ease more easily, but you, you might start with it. It's not, it's, it's not wrong to start with a compliment. You know, you can compliment somebody. It's, it's really, I believe it's kind of rare to actually, you know, I, I, I get some, some compliments, you know, uh, because of my, of my style of like going about life, but you know, uh, I get some compliments, but like lately, lately I've been like feeling this kind of like I've been like I've been backsliding, and then I have progressed, and I'm just backsliding, and I'm playing this like kind of like like weird thing, and I, I, I re I'm really trying to like find myself in many ways, and I have tried to be the I have tried to be like really really nice to people, and. I have to like realize that yeah it's kind of like you feel kind of better about yourself but at the same time I have noticed that it doesn't really like like it doesn't really get you almost anything you know so uh, the next part of the book could be like 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 getting what you want out of social situations uh, for example you know uh, like that's a good question. What do you want from social situation? Good time, you know. Uh, good time. Just somebody to talk to. Like emotional support. <laughs> I pronounce that word like in the Finnish style, you know. Emotional support, you know, support, um, like, like money. No. Uh, why do you want to be social? So, you you know, you could ask, ask this question over here. Why do you want to be social? Um, and how it's how how this question is related like for example playing the line and be, uh, giving the compliments and showing appreciation thanks thank you for the other people's time you know starting conversations like questions the uh, and, you know these could be the options you know like the question like the You know, I've noticed also this kind of thing that um, really like I don't usually in conversation, I don't usually ask people's names, you know, uh, because I feel that in the modern era, you know, I'm a computer dude, you know. And in the modern era of when you like, like if you, if you start, uh, like if you're a guy, for example, and you want to like, like I've done in the past, like in the like few months now, I've done a lot, a lot of conversations, you know, with like women. And I've been feeling that if, that you shouldn't start the conversation uh, or you shouldn't even like really ask the girl's freaking name, you know, uh, in the modern era, in the like first time you speak to the girl, because, uh, because uh, in the modern era, you, you know, you have the Facebooks and you have to, I, I feel that I want to as a myself, you know, present myself as a kind of guy that is kind of like, he had to like like do some freaking socializing, but you know I don't want to like like get into any kind of stuff, you know, you know I want I I'm gonna like uh, like give you what image you want to give your of yourself, you know, uh, like if we could divide it, like if we, we could say like in this part of the like book we could talk about like like your social image. 
and you know that social images are like kind of like fake the social images are kind of not like fake actually a social image what does it really even mean you know it means that it means that yeah how do you present yourself how do you present yourself You know, that's a good question. How do you present yourself? What are the options, you know? For example, over here, you could. what's your personality? Like, if you're a really flamboyant person and you want to present yourself as a really, like, a silent and, like, a really, like, down-to-earth person, you really, like, most flamboyant, most colorful, most artistic, most, like, Per, uh, like most like freaking like temperamental person ever and you present yourself as this one and you know it won't probably fly very good you know because you're not like that so uh, you could uh, this is this is your social image how do you present yourself how do you make your like this is this is deeper stuff how do you make your weaknesses not show in your social image <laughs> Uh, this is kind of like kind of like uh, being the undercover undercover type of guy and then there's the alternative that we could write a book about you know how how do you work with these difficulties so you can overcome them and become a different kind of person so that's the, that's the way um, you can think about your life in these like two ways you know and this could be like a book over here like the book tree and we are like trying to name these books you know like what's this book about this might be about um, the hidden self that sounds really good and the, and the book would be a, like about you know this is kind of like mapping out the territory of like self have self development and all the possi possible like subjects you could like write books about you know i'm i'm really passionate about self help and i've re i've like read a lot of self help stuff and i've se done a lot of self help videos but you know writing a self help book is actually really hard you know because um self help type of material you know you can talk about it and you can you can talk about it but like writing a book about it it's kind of hard to like get that material together but that's why that's why we are practicing but but the hidden self um you know the the hidden hidden self you know like this question how do you work with these difficulties so you can overcome them and become a different person how do you how do your weaknesses not show in your soap in your social image so that you might frame this question in another way how do you mask these uh, weaknesses um, you know kind of kind of like that uh, you know uh, like like you know you understand you understand what i mean basically basically over here you know uh, some people want to play, you know, this is about playing the line, you know, because when you are a gentleman or you learn this gentleman style, uh, really about all of your like, like what you're trying to do is like get people to feel like you're not threatening their like social image, whatever it is, you know, you know, the social image is a like it's a facade or it's it's a like you know the social image is a facade or a, it's a lie you know basically it's a lie but but the hidden self you know this book this book is about like managing about surviving in this world but if this book is about the truth you know and we could start this book like this. So, what is the truth of who you are?
and you could talk about all kinds of stuff, but you could start it like that. What is the truth of who you are? Um, you feel like this, uh, what I'm doing over here, first of all, it's quite, quite deep, you know, I don't I know how many people have thought about or are so aut autistic or like Asperger's type that they have to like map out social situations like this. But, but you know, I do a lot of this kind of work, you know, and and this kind of work is kind of different, you know. Like if we could like put over put over here like social failures, you know, you could write over here like like. Oh, oh yeah you know this is like two four point you know one but but you know you could write over here like 1.1 1 .1, you know for example like uh, social rehearsal I feel the, about this subject that you could like map out a, like short you know like a tweet size you know thing about this that do you rehearse social situations in your mind you know, it doesn't work. You see how it doesn't work. Well, of course you see it, how, it, how it doesn't work, but you can't do anything about it. So how do you learn to become more spontaneous in social situations? Um, I'm thinking about how I learned this stuff, you know. It's kind of it's kind of related to like listening, you know. You could like you could like put over here a chapter about about giving compliments and playing the line getting what you want out of social situations, you know. Like want to be heard, want to be heard, you know, something like that. You know, it's really interest. It's really interesting because if you if you want to, want to like if you want to like uh, like think about this question for example, do you want to be heard? Um, then you could like 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 go into it like deeper. And you know the art of conversation is exactly like this. If you think about the flow of the conversation, you know. It should have a certain kind of structure behind it, like this, uh, but uh, it's kind of kind of hard, you know, but because it happens in the moment, and you can like start it from it start start it from the like start again, you know, and f f you know it's f it's kind of kind of hard, you know, in that sense, you know, so like socializing and writing are very different kind of skills, you know. So we want to be heard. So, so we 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 we, we are gonna talk about about somewhere over here. We're gonna talk about about like about question, and we're gonna about talk about listening. Probably listening. We're pro probably gonna talk about listening over here. And then we are gonna talk about this kind of playing the line, social appropriateness and and mirroring, you know, mirroring. You know, it's kind of like, um, you know, uh, this is the stuff type of stuff I learned. I learned this stuff, you know, I learned this stuff in the like there was this like hypnosis type of like course about about. What's it called? Like near near linguistic programming, yeah, NLP. You know, I I actually haven't read any books about NLP. You know, it might be really like why I haven't read a book about NLP. You know, no no idea. But but I have learned this stuff. You know, I've learned like a lot of stuff. You know, basically, what's the stuff about? It's about like like socializing on another level and. It's about playing the line, you know, like the gentleman style is not really about like, like the gentleman style is really about, not about getting through life. Like, let's, 
make another book, you know, there's, there's another book idea, you know. You know, you could write freaking thousands of freaking books, you had uh, enough freaking like brain power, you know, you can write freaking like thousands of freaking books in the same freaking file, then when uh, one is ready, you know, you take it out of here, you know, copy paste in some like document and send it to the publisher and you're already freaking working on another one, you know. But you know, the book four could be something like, guy, like the gentleman style. You know, I, this is not invented by me, but you know, I heard I heard this from a guy. You know, I had this conversation in the street that was wearing this wearing this awesome freaking outfit. You know, the guy had freaking style. You know, and he was freaking artist. You know, like a musician. You know, but he had a freaking style. You know, and I I I'm, I'm I'm I have been going for like something like that in the in the last 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 months. You know. But really, I'm trying to like emphasize on the point that that um, that I'm a, like if I'm thinking about my social image, I want to emphasize that point that I'm a guy that does like you know like like for like like the first thing is that I'm a guy that is an artist and is an artistic man and it's kind of like flamboyant in that sense, and I'm. I'm, and I'm like making a self him. It's that like attracts, you know. For example, the women, you know, the, the really like not uh, the really like different kind of, you know. I I really don't have any interest in people that are really so normal, you know. Even if they have like a lot of, you know, it's really interesting. Who would you socialize with if it's want was not related to like money, you know? Who would you freaking pick, you know? So, so that's, that's kind of, that's kind of interesting. So I'm working on my social image in that way. It has to like represent the fact that I'm kind of like, well, I'm freaking different, you know, in many ways. So the gentleman style, uh, what are we talking about here? So, so the freaking gentleman style, it's really about like playing the line and it's about, it's about understanding other people on a really analytical level where you understand their like social masks you know it's about respect it's about not crossing the boundaries of other people and everything i said like here for example that you don't ask a girl's name in the first conversation with her because in the modern era it's not really appropriate i think because you know if there's this lot of freaking Facebooks, you know, the freaking Twitters and the Instagrams, and you know, people have all the stuff, you know. Um, it's kind of uh, you like respect the other people's privacy, you know, that way. That wa that wasn't an issue, you know, you in the like past, you know. So if you want to, like, if you want to do that, like gentleman style, for example, you have to think about the era you now live in, and you know, mixing timelines like that. It's funny. It's funny. It's really funny. But you know that that's the reason I really don't like like think that that's like like so good. But you know people are different. Also, they have their like like what's appropriate and what's not. It's like it's you know what's funny and what's not. You know it's kind of like like based on the individual. You know, for example, for some someone like me, you know, like I don't I don't. I don't freaking know, you know. Normally, I'm the freaking guy that has to like start conversations. I don't, I don't know what's, the, what's, the, what's, the, what's it about me, you know, that nobody freaking starts conversations with me, but nobody freaking seems interested in me in any way, you know. So I, I, I've been the guy for the longest time that like starts these conversations, you know. So that's that, you know, I don't know if it's like related to people being kind of complacent or and it's something like that, or if there's something really like off-putting about myself, there might be, who freaking knows. Uh, but you know, that that could be uh, like something, something you want to be heard. So yeah. And also, also so, uh, kind of like, like kind of like a, a, a thing about uh, about like the art of conversation is that you should practice a lot of talking you know like to people and like like don't expect anything out of like social situations um that's 
that's what that's how I present myself, you know, in this world. Um, it's kind of like you could you should give opportunities. Let's say that giving opportunities. Uh, yeah, like you you should like give opportunities to other people, but you shouldn't like expect anything out of them. You know, like you just shouldn't. You should give them the opportunity to like, uh, for example. That's what. That's why. That's the other thing about like talking talking to women. You know, never ask women's phone numbers. Uh, like in uh, in the first conversation, never ask the girl's phone numbers, you know, uh, and why that is, you know, because you know, you give of yourself the image that you're not trying to get anything out of this, and it leaves a better impression, you know, in the end. You, know, I, that's what I feel. If if somebody somebody wants my phone number, I feel kind of iffy about it because. Because I'm kind of like, yeah, you know, you know, like phones, you know, like technology, you know, you like this modern world, you know, it's kind of like, ah, I don't care about this stuff at all. But, you know, for somebody else who's into like the Facebooks and, you know, the, all the freaking social media stuff, you know, you know, it might be completely different kind of, it might be freaking self-evident. Yeah, 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 like here's my freaking WhatsApp, you know. But I'm. I don't really know. Like I, I, I'm not. I don't live in that world. You know. This is how I freaking do stuff. You know. I have this like. I've been trying this, and I have noticed that there's so huge differences, and and the like. The, what works with an, one person doesn't work with another person. So it's like, it's like so weird and hard, like socializing. For me, at least, that's why I have to like write a book about. It. So giving opportunities. So what's what would what would this about be this about? Like, like, like a bullet point, but about this would be like not expecting anything out of it. Um, Where's not getting anything out of it. You know, this is this is a hard. This is this is related to the gentleman style. The gentleman doesn't. I feel that the gentleman doesn't expect anything out of it, and he does it anyway because it's his style. But when it matters, he gets something out of it. You know, it's a kind of like. Like, if it happens, okay. If it doesn't happen, okay. You know, it's my style. You know, it's about my style. It's not about getting something. Getting something from somebody, it's not about style, you know. It's about the destination. So with like women, you know, if you pose as this kind of guy, you know, and you might really be, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty honest with you, I'm this kind like nowadays, like I don't expect like freaking anything from like almost anybody, you know, I have some like gripes about like not really making it in this life in the monetary sense, you know, but otherwise, you know, I don't really like expect people to like freaking like, like understand me or like like me or like, or like, appreciate me or any way and that might be the reason they don't like do those do those kinds of things some some people do but you know i don't expect that stuff from anybody you know i feel that people don't have those freaking skills you know how many people do i even have the like the skill to give other people compliments freaking all you know you know you can freaking you 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 can't freaking if you can't give any compliments you know you know that's freaking weird you know you have to learn this stuff you know it's like you'll have to learn this stuff i don't know if this like the giving compliment thing you know it's like related like yeah it's 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 prob probably related to like well who knows 
What's too much compliments? You know, the rhythm of compliments. You know, we are back over here, so... Uh, why do people give compliments to each other? Um, you could give compliments to an, another person, you know, based on like... You could tell something about yourself through a compliment. <sighs> yeah, like think about that. You can like be more... You could say be more like powerful. Uh, well, not powerful, but you know, more... More... How could it, what how could you put this like you could be more you know yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah that's that's a hard question so how do you present yourself you know um For example, you could like like write over here. What are the difficulties of what are the difficulties of your self presentation? In what situations you cannot be the person you want to become? Because you have to understand that uh, you, that life you don't have a like you don't have a like a self that is the same every day. You know, you, it's kind of like related to situations and also to people. So I feel that if you are kind of like me, you will go this route because you will go through you will go this route because you like yeah okay let's let's ask a question why would you take this route in life You know, it's kind of like hard actually to, like you you know you playing the, playing this kind of like thing you know in this modern era is kind of hard because you are dealing with people that are modern you know you know what's the modern like the gentleman style but the first question of the book if you had to define if you had to define the modern style of being a human being what would you call it Like, think about that. What I have gained from, like, more my life is that people are freaking sensitive. To, like, so, like, people, people are really sensitive, you know. Like, that's what makes, like, socializing so different. And there are these people that, like, don't want to learn the skills, you know don't want to like work on themselves in any way in that kind of way so it's kind of, kind of hard when you like like deal with these type of persons you know you know what's the word for it like consideration you know 
but you could ask about the gentleman style. What's too much consideration? Is being a gentleman about being nice? The nice guy. Because I have, I have kind of feeling that no, no, being being a being the going the gentleman way is not about being the nice guy. Is being a gentleman about being the style guy? Is being a gentleman about not getting into trouble? Is being a gentleman about manners? Is being a gentleman about getting something out of life? You know, you ask these questions, you realize, wow, this stuff is like Pretty freaking deep, you know. This probably because it's. I feel. I, I feel that it's probably because uh, this type of stuff went out of like style and out of like you know. It went probably went out of style because um, people felt that it wasn't practical in the modern world anymore. It's related to a lot of practicality, but I feel that it's also related to the fact that human beings couldn't figure out themselves to trace this type of stuff. So they became, first of all, they became more like, they became more honest, but at the same time, um, they kind of like took the other way of like saying that it's not worth it to like develop yourself in this way. And that's 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 how I'm, I I could like to explain it to you that if you go this go this way like nowadays you have to really develop yourself. But in the past you know it might have been that that's what that's how you learn to like be to like be a human being you know. So so I don't know the hidden self. What are the difficulties of self presentation? Um, Are you a type of person that is really, you know, for example, like being really critical about something, it's not, uh, you know, gentlemen are not really, the gentleman style is not being like critical about something. You know, you know, being critical about something, it's kind of like you're, you, if you are like really critical about, critical about something, you, if you are critical about something, you are kind of like expecting something, you know, and the gentleman, if you really think about it, you're not expecting anything, you know, so if you're not expecting anything, you can't be critical, you know. If you know, if you think about think about like criticism in in any way, it's some it's about getting something. I don't want anything about I, I don't want anything of of this. So you know, it might be related to like you know like social appropriateness. You know, you could like like put over here like criticism. You know, you understand that uh, this is like, this is like criticism is kind of like, you know, criticism is about, about getting something, getting something out of the situation. For example, I could like, like do this freaking like writing over here and I, I might expect that, you know, uh, because expecting something from something, you know, it's kind of like. Well, I think I think that this is the biggest stuff you have to work with, you know. And I have tried, you know, I have tried to like get rid of this stuff from myself. 
like completely the way I act, you know. And I feel that this has become an accepted type of stuff in the society and it's really bad. Should this type of stuff be expected? Should this type of stuff be accepted? Well, um, like I'm, I'm gonna, gonna gonna playing the line, you know, uh, like separating peoples into like like separating people into like friends and enemies in a sense that yeah these people are like crap you know you look at this person and this has this problem and you know i'm not gonna be fr friends with this but with, with, with this one i'm gonna act really nice you know what's the, what's the what's what's the way you should like act in this world you know You know, I've realized in the past, like months, for example, especially, that I have freaking no idea. You know, this stuff is so complicated and freaking hard, hard. But I feel that it's also because of the like fact that nobody else, like, like I feel that almost nobody freaking works on this stuff on themselves. You know, that's a criticism. You know, why aren't working on this? Like, why are you not working on this in yourself? You know, the gentleman style might be also related to this, you, you know, you, know um, you try to take other people into consideration, but, but you know, um, taking other people into consideration can be really hard in, like, can be really stupid decision in the, in the way of your, like, for example, your creativity. For, for example, if you want to be creative, you have to, like, you know in some situations you have to be like you like stand up for yourself if you want to be like expressive if you want to be a type of human being that is like really alive then consideration does not equal like being all dead you know that's why you know this like like this way of saying that do you feel dead inside can the gentleman style help you with this I believe that it can, you know, because you, you, if you feel dead inside, you know, what does, what does that mean? You're too considerate, but you're not really, you're not considerate, you're kind of like making yourself just not be seen, not be heard. It's kind of like, do you feel dead inside? You're kind of hiding from the, you're kind of hiding from your own self and you know you're not like you know for example for me i i really enjoy it well when i see people that are kind of like going for something that is kind of different and they are like out there you know what's the difference does it make you know it doesn't really bother my senses if somebody's more colorful than some other people or it doesn't really bother my senses if you know you know be more colorful you know you know be for be more like like expressive you know be more like like different you know i like that type of stuff because that's the way i am and that's what that's what i aim for but you know some somebody some people might like like have some like have so much to lose you know like for example we could write if this was like the book four over here you know we are jumping around but if this was like the book kind of like trying to brain dump over here uh, if this was the book five you could write about the 
the losses of personality. Professionality. That's what I was going to say. The losses of professionality. And this is the next hour. I'm going to explain this to you. This is really, this is really, this might be one of the, one of the most important things about your life. So now let's, now let's wrap up this hour. You know, it was kind of all over the place, but you know, that's how it was made. 